see, this summer, this summer, I'm going to leave you with this. This summer I was, it was actually this fall. This fall was really hot in San Diego. I mean, like, it was really hot. End of August, early September, it was burning up. I remember because it was before we went to the Cleveland International, okay? And I had decided to go to the pool. I love it because I'm full-time in ACN. No one's, no, my, my daughter just went back to school. There's no one at the pool at 11 o'clock in the morning because everyone's at work. So I have all the pool to myself. So I went to the pool in my neighborhood, and I was laying out, and I, all of a sudden these kids rushed into the pool. I'm like, what are they doing here? School's in session. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm not going to, this is going to be weird. But you know what? I think positively. So I just, I just started to stay there. And I was listening to the kids' conversation. And it was uh, two brothers and their cousin. And the, the, the younger brother and the cousin, they ran and they jumped in the pool. They were screaming. You heard them splashing. They were having fun immediately. The older brother, he didn't do that. The older brother, he, had, he was ready. He was ready. He had, his, he had his swimming trunks on. He had his goggles. They were on his forehead. They weren't on his eyes, but they were on his forehead. And he was standing at the edge of the pool, and he was looking at the water. And I remember this. I used to do this all the time. I, I was looking at the kid, and I was like, just jump in. It's cold. Just jump in. And the kid did what you're not supposed to do, and some of you might know what it is. He dipped his toe in the water. And then he validated, yes, it's freezing. And so guess what? He didn't want to jump in anymore. And he was looking at the water, he was looking at the water, and his younger brother and his cousin were like, come on, jump in, jump in. You're taking too long. And he said, in his mind, I know he said it, he was like, oh, I got a better idea. So guess what he did? He walked to the stairs. And he said, I'll just walk in. It's too cold. And so he started walking step by step, and I'm looking at him going through this, and they're like, no, you're not going to be able to do that. Once you, get, once you get to a certain level that only guys know about, in the level of the water, he's not going to be able to go any further. And sure enough, he got to that certain part right above his knees. He stopped, and he said, no, I can't do it. And he started to walk out of the water. And his brother and his cousin are like, what are you doing? You're not going to get in? And he said, I'm going to get in. He goes over to the edge again. And he's right next to me. And I'm like, oh, no, he's going to try. He's, this guy's going to splash me. So I'm paying attention to what he's doing. And he goes to jump. And right before he jumps, something stops him. And he almost falls in. And he's breathing hard. And listen, this goes on for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes he's doing this back and forth from the stairs to the edge. And I'm doing everything in my power to not to laugh because I'm the only one there, so there wouldn't be anything else that I would be laughing at. And so finally he says, I'm going to do it. He puts his goggles on again. And finally, 10 minutes in, he jumps in. He jumps in. He's cold for like a split second. He doesn't even realize it because the moment he jumps in, he goes over to his cousin and his brother, starts splashing them, starts getting them back, and they're having fun in the pool. Here's, what's, here's the messed up thing. I kid you not, maybe 20 minutes later, their dad comes and says, come on, guys, we got to go. We got to go. I was like, What? And so he wasted a third of the time that he could have been having fun looking at the water, scared about a fraction of a second of pain, of cold. He spent 10 minutes pondering on a fraction of a second before his father decided to call them home. Why am I telling you this? Because in life, 
that's what a lot of people do. They spend the majority of their life looking at the water in the game of life, knowing that it's cold, trying to figure out ways around the cold, when the only real way around it is to jump in. And here's what's really scary that hit me hard. Just like in the pool, we don't know when our father is going to call us home. See, we don't know how long we have on this planet. We don't know when our last day is. All we have is the present. See, the past is gone. The future isn't here. All we have is the present. Are you wasting every precious moment thinking about the cold water when it's only going to take a fraction of a second to jump in and deal with that cold water? Listen, draw a line in the sand. Develop a backbone if you've never had one in your life. Stand for something so that your kids and your kids' kids will stand on your shoulders as giants because of the accomplishments and the sacrifices you made in the present. Let's make this day the best day we've ever had. Let's go all out and let's take this business to the top. Tomorrow morning we're going to be going over three major components of the ACN opportunity, dynasty style. You don't want to miss it. I hope you had your team on the call today. I look forward to seeing each and every single one of you on the conference call tomorrow morning. God bless. Have a great day. I'll see you over the top.